What is going on guys, it's Bandicoot here, and today I'm going to be talking about the possible return of Crash Bandicoot on the PS4 this year. So there's a bunch of information I want to go over in this video, some older and newer teases from Sony, um, some of the theories that have been floating around, and just overall my opinion and what I think we can expect from Sony at E3 this year. Obviously it would be a huge announcement. Let me know if you guys want to see Crash come back in the comments, and let's get into the video. So I really do believe that if Crash Bandicoot is going to be making a return to the PS4, old or remake, whatever, it is going to be this year because if you don't know, it is actually the 20th anniversary of Crash. So it's just basically a great time that I think um, everyone wants him to come back. So I think it's like the perfect time um, for an announcement, a huge announcement at E3 in 2016. Um, if they go along with that, there have been teasers since the PS4 was launching. I mean, you can go back and look at some of the stuff. Some of the stuff is um, more shown than others, um, like this here. This was actually um, a commercial or a trailer. It was like bringing all the big games together when the PS4 was coming out. It was, and it, the commercial was called for the players. I'll actually have a link to the video in the description if you want to check that out. But if you see in the background, there's actually a sign, and Crash Bandicoot is at the bottom of it with an arrow above him pointing to what looks like a orange triangle, but it's actually um, what everyone assumes is the old Sony logo, um, which is also shown here beside it. So that's just one of the um, earlier teasers that Sony's actually started with. But there's actually been a few big teasers uh, more recently. Uh, if you've actually been following uh, Crash and its possible return, uh, all the news and stuff, um, you probably have heard uh, a couple of these. Um, so last year at PlayStation Experience, Sean Layden came out and he was wearing a damn Crash Bandicoot shirt. And you can see the picture right here, He, it's just big plain Crash Bandicoot shirt. So if you can imagine being there, uh, all these Sony fans, you know, have been with the PlayStation since its um, launch way back and whenever the PS1 launched. So the place went absolutely nuts, obviously. I mean, I would have too. <laughs> and he did not say one word about Crash Bandicoot at that whole conference. So what does this mean? Um, I honestly think that it's just another teaser um, for what's to come at possibly E3. Um, so... I don't know, it just seems kind of absurd for him to do something this big when he knows for damn sure how bad uh, everyone actually wants this game to come back. So I don't think he's just trolling us because if he was, that would be like, that's just the biggest troll of all time. I don't think they would actually do that. So the next uh, tease we actually have here is a poster tweeted from the verified PlayStation Mideast account on Twitter. Uh, as you can see, it's in Arabic language, I believe, and it's a plain picture of Crash Bandicoot, and the rough translation is actually, Most Wanted Crash, Where Are You? So, what does this mean? I think that for Sony to come out with two plain Crash Bandicoot teases, they just wouldn't do that for fun. I mean, that's just, I mean... If you think about it, it's a lot of time for off their hands that they gotta think about something like this. And I don't think they would just do this to basically troll the people. So this is uh, a pretty big uh, tease, I think. And hopefully it's another sign of what we can expect, uh, just teasing at little things. And if they did actually announce something at E3, it would be absolutely huge. So this next tease is the most recent one that I'm actually aware of. And it actually happened this month, February 13th. Um, there was a YouTuber at some kind of event. I'm not sure. He's a YouTuber who um, basically is interested in like uh, toys or figurines uh, that are characters from different games uh, made from Sony. And it was uh, they're called Nika that makes N E C A that makes these figurines for different games, and they have close ties with Sony. Uh, close partnerships obviously to make these figurines as accurate as possible and they were basically talking about the new figurines they have coming out for Nathan Drake, Uncharted 4, uh, Little Big Planet 
and all this other stuff and after that this man right here that you see on screen Randy let's see what his name Randy Falk this man right here came straight out and said yeah and uh, I see Crash Bandicoot's coming back out too so that's pretty cool like it was basically no big deal to him and I don't know if this was just a really bad leak from this guy because obviously if they um, if Crash Bandicoot is coming they would probably know about it but obviously after this whole thing went down people the internet blew up about it and people just were questioning so much and they actually came out a little later and said this was a mistake and that this Randy guy didn't was trying to say some other shit you know whatever just the basic cover-up stuff that I believe actually went down because I don't know it's just kind of weird for him to say something that like just say it out loud like that like it's no big deal so that is uh, the three most recent leaks. Um, I don't know. This, those are three pretty big things, all really recent, only dealing with Crash Bandicoot. And I really don't think that it would. It's like I think it's gonna happen, guys. Um, let me know what you guys think in the comments. Uh, some other things I wanted to talk about. Activision, if you didn't know, actually owns the rights to Crash right now. So another thing that people are saying that maybe Sony is actually trying to get Activision's attention with all this um, uproar from the people to try and get Activision to uh, get someone to start making a Crash game. Uh, I don't know about this, it just kind of seems weird for me. To me, to uh, have a big company like Sony trying to push in this kind of way. But uh, another thing is the partnership that Sony and Activision have, is obviously with the Call of Duty map packs and stuff, early access, there is a pretty strong partnership there right now. So that is just another reason why we could see Crash coming very soon. Um, this next thing that I wanted to talk about, uh, it seems this is a very unlikely thing, obviously not confirmed at all. But there is actually speculation that Naughty Dog has working low-key on a new Crash game. If you didn't know, Naughty Dog is the creator of the first three games, uh, Crash 1, 2, and 3. And at that time, Sony owned Naughty Dog and they made those Crash games. And now they're obviously broken off and they're making the Uncharted series, The Last of Us, and they're pretty busy right now. So this is why I think this is very doubtful. They actually came out and said they wanted to do a Crash Bandicoot game inside of Uncharted 4. And it's kind of like, they actually had this on the PS1, like, on a Crash game, I remember on the PS1 Crash game, they had, like, a little thing you could do when the game was booting up. If you hit a couple buttons at this whatever pattern, uh, you could actually load into a Spyro, like, spinoff. If you don't know Spyro the Dragon, you could play a little spinoff there. So that would be pretty cool. They actually did deny this statement, though. So I really don't see anything coming out of Naughty Dog. I mean, they're just so busy. They have basically said that they're going to be working on The Last of Us 2. They haven't fully announced it, I don't think. Uh, but yeah, that's basically very doubtful. So the last thing I wanted to say is a emulator coming for the old Crash games to be played on the PS4. Uh, I believe that Sony has started um, releasing some older games to be played. I'm not actually sure, I'll have to check up on that. But yeah, they could announce something in E3, like um, just you can play old games on the PS4, probably buy them again, just in the same rate format or whatever, to actually play these old games on the PS4, you know, no updated graphics or anything really too exciting. But yeah guys, that's about it, I'm gonna wrap this video up. Uh, let me get, know what you guys think in the comments section. Um, I'm just obviously want to see Crash Bandicoot come back so bad and I really do think this is the year, you know, 20th anniversary, I was born the year that Crash came out. It would be awesome if I could actually play Crash Bandicoot on the PS4, you know, new or just an old remake, you know, either way, I would love to see it come back. So hit that like button if you enjoyed this video, let me know what you guys think in the comments and subscribe for more Crash Bandicoot.